Welcome to DuckCast episode 66. Whoa. We've got all these crazy topics Jeez, for this episode. man. We, do, uh, we have Will Brower coming on next for yeah. next episode. Should we do like a Halloween thing? We never did a Halloween episode if we, before. We if we this. record it before then, uh, before Halloween. Yeah. No, nah, man, we do it a week from now, yeah. We need, we need to that. put on Talk some funny well. costumes or whatever. Masks most yeah. likely since we don't have costumes. But yeah, you know. We, I think we've done like three Christmas did we do? Did we no, have... one of our Christmas episodes was just fucking talking about legacies. We've had two Christmas oh, episodes. Yeah. That but... was the last one, I think. <coughs> yeah, it was. Um, you're contagious, by the way. You're sick, and you got <laughs> me sick now. What the hell? So, um. Yeah. <laughs> did we do any Halloween episodes ever? Like, no, we never up? did. We should. Mm. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't believe we ever talked about. Maybe we talked about it, but. So you're like, about to say you don't believe don't in Halloween, time. like it's a myth. I don't believe in candy. I actually did something Halloween related over the and uh, our first big topic is going to be Elwood because we got a um, we're the Rich Alvarez podcast basically at this point because yeah. that's a very common topic every season. <laughs> but uh... with with the recent uh, <laughs> with the recent state of the Rich Alvarez channel, I mean, I, I think it's a perfect time to talk about Rich Alvarez again after. I, th- oh, yeah. I, I you know we've talked about anyone that's new like talked about him uh pretty negatively for the most part but depending on the outcome of this like we'll see i think it'll be pretty i think on the ground are you talking about people in, are you talking about people in general no or just us, us how we've how we've been talking about rechavers throughout the podcast it's, history i think it's been i, th- I it's think critical i think i think negative is kind of a harsh word i think critical, that, uh, critical I, I could agree with yeah but I, I think that we uh, have been. I think we like normally give him credit for something too, though, when we criticize him. And I think Elwood is a. Without going into too much detail, Elwood is a great step in the right direction. Oh yeah, this is something but, um, we've t- kind of discussed over the years. Of since season five ended, something yeah. that uh, is finally a from the blooper reel. Like they do, Richie looks like he's having a ton of fun, which is the first time I've well, seen him after a while. Gonna, and I was gonna say that something the not viral. Reel, me, thank God, it's great. The blooper reel to me feels like the first genuine thing they've done since they ended the show in the, like 2012. That one guy who plays the character in the blue suit, like a few of the bloopers near the beginning of that, he he was like he was like, he wasn't on Matt level good, but he was like a very it's close cool. second. Like some of the stuff he was doing. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I, 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 at, I at the end of the update I'm video too, up. just like it comes up with like some fire. <laughs> like, it might just be someone with a similar voice, but I swear to God, at the beginning of that blooper reel, I heard Olivia's voice a few times. Maybe I thought I, I, it sounded like her to me. I don't know. I know that obviously Chris and I left a comment saying "way to die" within the first thirty seconds. But uh, what do you think of um? I and we'll go <laughs> like get to into the characters and the actors and the. Uh, the script as well but like i want to talk about uh camera work like they got this uh female camera woman this um this one girl mm-hmm. i forget who she is she showed up in the update video that's probably um, that's probably who is speaking and she probably just sounds a little in like the update her, video, they say it's her and like um i'm glad they're not doing so many tripod shots uh at least not as many oh yeah and i saw during tripod the blooper reel so there was like they were all freehand you know what do you think about I'm that? I'm sick, by the way. That's why I'm eating stupid yeah. Um Visually, it was a uh, way better. Visually, like camera-wise, it was a lot better than most of the stuff they make. Mm-hmm. I think Legacy had like one of the most bland senses of cinematography I've like ever seen on their channel before. Now, um, yeah, I mean, it was it was done like fairly well. It was everything looked every mm-hmm. shot looked nice. Every shot worked. Um, I think it's a great step in the right direction. I could use a little bit more personality. In the camera? I think you could use a little bit more per. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. Also, Sometimes don't you know look at that, a movie. How would you uh, translate that for someone who doesn't know what that means? Yeah, it, it's 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 kind of just like I look at a lot of directors and I can like kind of see like, ah, oh, this is like a, this is a Wes Anderson movie mm-hmm. or this is an Edgar Wright movie or as many bad films as he's made, he sometimes does cinematography like amazing like this looks like a Shyamalan movie it's just like I like there's a really good style to it and um uh, you think, I think that like and now I I'm not I'm not someone who uh plays the fallout games or anything but from the show it looks like a survival kind of show 
Uh, don't oh, you think yeah. the freestyle yeah. kind of cinematography works for that? Like the, you know what I mean? Because like in some scenes, if they're running uh, on action scenes, it kind of works. You kind of feel like you're in the moment in the heat of the desert or something like that. You know what I mean? A big part of the Fallout games is they kind of like take place in a world of like the. I, Okay, don't don't quote me on anything because I'm not as big as a Fallout nerd as these guys are, and I could ob- I could say something wrong very easily. But to my understanding from playing the games, it takes place in an apocalypse where the world ended in the 50s. So there's a lot of like a 50s style to every single one of the games. And the first episode didn't have anything like that. It could have like it seems like the world could have ended in present days. I saw but, uh, I saw like one comment movie. about that, and Jackie replied like, "We just don't don't have the budget for stuff like that." I think maybe it was more about the weapons, but I, you know, it's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, I no, I understand that. I, I think that um, can do. and I and I think if they and I do also think that if they went through with it and like they made some things kind of resemble that, but other things not, then that'd be a huge consistency issue. It's a fan series; they can do stuff like that. Um, it's not like really they're, I'm, being, I'm being nitpicky about what I'm saying because it was shot very well mm-hmm. it was it looked better than anything that they've done in a really long time um, it was like the one decent scene in Legacy was the fallout scene and this was an entire episode of like that basically or it was just like really well made um, I'm being nitpicky because it's better than it normally is and I don't have to be so defensive about it yeah. it's uh I think every single person is way... I left a comment saying this. I think every single person in is way too over the top for me to possibly take seriously, but I'm having yeah. fun watching it. It's I mean, that's the same thing with Stupid yeah. Mario Bros. When, when I was a kid, I could take that, that show seriously. Now it's impossible for me to take seriously, but I still love it because it's a fun thing to watch. I think and this as, is, that's what Fallout L was. Yeah, I think for a long time fans, <clears throat> this is something refreshing. It's not perfect, but we kind of appreciate yeah. that there is improvement from the past work. I'm just kind of scared like of, the like... Potential of yeah, I like the potential, but it, I, what scares me is, Beach like, characters. the fact that, you know, they are doing something new here. They are trying to distance themselves from the uh, the Mario days a bit. It scares me about any possible new viewers they might want to get, and I'm sure they do want to get new viewers, so, you know... That's what I said in my comment, too, yeah. Yeah. It's a sh- the corniness isn't going to work for a lot of people. To be fair, though... It is a first episode, and like with any show, first episodes mostly oh, yeah. suck, so you never know. I yes, don't think it has to be it. like that. Yeah. I think I've seen a lot of shows where the yeah. first episode's awesome. But it just happens. But yeah. It does. Um, I. Uh... Yeah. <coughs> By the way, yeah, I, I remember can... watching this episode uh, at the highest quality 4K, and it looked so good, dude. Mm-hmm. Like it, a, was, it was nice yeah. looking. I watched it more than everything once. Everything was focused in frame and everything, and the colors looked good. And from the blooper reel, they didn't do much color correcting, I think. Which is surprising. I thought it was, but maybe they did. Mm, I don't know. I feel like they it did. looked good they in the blooper reels, though. The rough, uh, the raw yeah. footage stuff. It looked good still. It looked very color graded to me. The, so maybe they well, just maybe it was the lighting because I saw like in the bloopers they had that. What's that? That tin foil thing? Not tin foil, but what's it called for lighting? I don't know. Yeah. I gotta have to go back and look it at good, it and see what they were doing. They did good. I'm shaking <clears> a lot, by the way, right now. I don't know why. You ever get that feeling where like stuff's in your chest shaking in your hands oh, yeah. for some uh, reason like uh, that. I think it's cold yeah I get like that all the time I've just been like super congested and mm. not miserable but also like are you drinking just... enough by the way oh uh, today I probably haven't drinking as much you should, should if you're have, coughing but, a lot uh, for the most part of it. Don't your I normally do I normally just drink a lot of water on like uh just because you should drink a lot of water every yeah. day but um yeah, so I guess like my uh, full review of it is like uh, I do think it look, presentation wise it is nice. I hope that they can um, get really creative with it, try a lot of stuff out with it, uh, mm. and make every episode as good as the pilot presentation wise, or at, or even better as it goes forward. And they sit, the artwork. Sit in the... I don't. Oh, yes. I didn't personally like the intro. I didn't. Pers- mm. I don't personally like uh, intro. I don't, it's like a cheap okay, way I'm of like explaining. To, that's what I say this. I, I don't really care for like a. Yeah. It's a cheap way of no, explaining the monologue like, and everything. Just like, and it went on for a little too yeah. long as well. But you know, it was it went kind, on it, way it, too yeah. long. But I will give it this: the drones were like fantastic. Yeah. They, they were, were like, um, very impressive. They, they said it was like originally a comic book, so I wonder if those were exactly from it. I don't know. <coughs> they look good though. 
Yeah. Uh, no, it's finally, like, Richie was, I don't, I'm glad in the update video he didn't say that, like, hey, we can't continue the show unless you support us on Patreon. They said, we're going to make the show, but here's our Patreon. Yeah. I would, like, gladly support Richie on Patreon if he consistently delivered on stuff. And I understand that it's a little harder for him than, like, other people have supported in the past, yeah. like Mumkey or didn't, YMS. Didn't he show in that update video? they make video, stuff that can be done quicker. Didn't he show in that update video that the uh, Fallout stuff is, like, on the $10 pledge area, which isn't too much? I think. I think that's a pretty decent price to pay for something like this. I don't know. And what happens with that? I don't what know. do you get? I th but like I don't know. It's just something. I didn't read it too much, but I didn't. I didn't look at his Patreon because I'm not. I'm not gonna support him on Patreon until I like actually, mm. you know, like see Fair more. Enough, yeah. Um. I I like in the, how in the I mean, update video, you know, which is like you know kind of a given, but I like how he does address like, you know going forward like he's taking everyone's critiques like what they liked and what they didn't like for the future episode yeah. he said that like that's a that's oh, good, I'll give, good to address i'll give richie and garrett a lot of props and i mean i'll actually give garrett this like especially garrett um i left a comment on will brower's reaction video and got a response from garrett like he's really going all over the place trying to like listen to what people are saying and that's cool i yeah. like i like that garrett i don't i don't I think we've poked fun of Garrett a few times, but Garrett seems like one of the like one of the nicest people involved in what they do. He's just uh, he he reaches out to a lot of fella. fans. I I respect. Yeah, him. He, I like I like Garrett. It's, uh, I don't care for uh, his work in some of Richie's shows that I where it's not exactly his fault that I don't like him. But you, this can kind of uh, we can talk about his role as well as others. But let's get into uh, yeah. the cast and how do you think they were. If they were casted correctly, every, like let's start with Richie, I guess. Are, or I guess Richie is obvious, but I do like seeing like going back to Garrett. I do like seeing him not be a villain. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, that's better. I think they poked the um, blue real too. Um, yeah, that or the update video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I um I personally Gary and Jack had some funny exchanges on that blue real actually. Oh, yeah. I was actually kind of laughing at some yeah, of that. that was great. I didn't know that, like, during that one scene, like, everyone else, like, including Chris and Olivia, were, like, there. They just, they were just yeah, they out. It was cool, like, yeah. seeing them in the blue reel, too. That was yeah. Good. Yeah. good stuff. Um, but, no, I was going to say um, about Jackie's character, uh, like, listen, I'm, I'm not a big fan of, like, any... She's not an actress, clearly, but, like, mm -hmm. I feel like I at this... I wouldn't say any of them are. I f yeah, obviously, but, like, <laughs> at this point, like... You know, you're bringing in some new people in and stuff, and it's like, they're more side characters, but, and I know she's like, you know, high tier on the list on the Richara's channel and all, but mm -hmm. does she have to be given this main role, you know, I with her, that, I don't know. Hey, like, I think Jackie is just as good as I, Richie, Chris, and Garrett. Love you, Jackie, if you're watching, but I don't think you're right for the role, man, I don't know. I um, know. I think Jackie was fine. I mean, like it's. I think everyone is really over the top. Yeah. And you know, if that works for the people watching it, then I, that's I found fine. her more distracting I, than most other people. Like Chris. I think I found Chris the most distracting. Yeah. Chris Bonite. Those oh. like five seconds where he didn't say anything and then got killed. God, what a horrible actor. No. Um. Chris Muller. Can we? Um, was, can, we get, uh, <laughs> can we get some? Love you, Chris. Um, you think we can have some moment of silence for Chris and Olivia though? I mean, they finally got into a Richard's video in, a, in an episode mm. of a new show, and yeah. they were they they sacrificed themselves for the greater good. They sacrificed themselves. I don't know what exactly. I'm just talking out my ass here, just saying words, but you know what I mean. Mm. Yeah, like and Garrett like they Garrett said they're real like started shouting like names when everyone got killed in that episode, and he does actually say Chris's name. Mm. You remember that? No. He, he shouts like because all oh. of them die except him and Jack. I didn't focus on and that. And then he, he shouts, Chris and Olivia. Him, Chris. He said something. Oh, say that. Sorry, say Chris. That you everyone. Wait, 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 wait. You he lied said, to me. "Uh, yeah, my my bar my bars are a little weird right now. Um, am I good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he shouted like it was after everyone died except 
and Jackie, and he shouted, so-and-so, Chris, everyone. Maybe with some other guy named Chris. Because everyone they knew took his name. And love died. Yep, so they, they were just, I just assumed they were using the... <laughs> what if Chris played himself? <clears throat> and now Chris just has to, like, it's like a method act, and he has, he has to, to actually die. Like, hey, he has to disappear for a year, so everyone's <laughs> sold that he actually died. It's like uh, <laughs> Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> what if his character comes back in, like, episode 10, he turns out to be, like, the... The uh the dude behind everything, the evil organization. He's like, oh right, that guy, the extra. <laughs> He's the bad guy. <laughs> yes, of course, Chris Bonite. Remember me? He, he just comes in and starts reviewing the show. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nostalgia Goggles. <laughs> I'm Nostalgia Goggles. Or it's a T-shirt, nothing even like remotely involved with like the I wonder, universe. I wonder if Chris is still gonna use that name with <laughs> with the change the channel controversy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that, that stuff. <clears throat> but uh, the webcam keeps freezing. Oh, now it's good. I think that uh, hmm. I think that he stopped that show a while ago. Actually, I haven't seen anything from it in a really long time. Uh, they do, he has a he has a new podcast too. It's his twentieth new podcast. Yeah. Why isn't yeah. it just? It's all, I always love their podcast. <laughs> I, I always love the podcasts it. they do, but they, they don't stick to one. They don't ever stick to one. Like, I, I Again, I legitimately love going on their podcasts. I legitimately enjoy listening to them. I, like, they're one of the only friends of mine who do a podcast where I actually listen to it. Mm-hmm. I think there's them, and then you have Metal Mouth, and those two friend podcasts I listen to. Yeah. Uh, but they, it's like it's a different name every episode. Like with me, like soon it's going to be the Ziff Pod, which is understandable because I won't have braces th- at that time. So of course <laughs> I would change the name from Metal yeah. Mouth Says Stuff to. The Are you going to do a Metal Mouth finale? Because like you're I do want a Metal to, Mouth but finale, I can't find any that. time, like a good amount of time, to like record at least an hour. <laughs> well, maybe an old, maybe an old friend will stop by later. I don't know. Like, listen, I'll still do, like, a memorial thing in the first episode of the Ziff Pod if I don't, you know? Like, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. You just have Tito on for the last episode. I, I guess an update before me. I t- get my braces off, like, if I don't do the finale, like, they said soon. I don't know if I said that the last time, but soon. They said that the last time, too, but I went uh, Wednesday, and they said the same thing. So, we're getting close to a whole year since, a uh, whole two years since I got them on, so. You yeah. Know? And they said a year and a half. The first official uh, time frame, so should be very, very mm-hmm. soon. Since are you gonna go back to making like skits and everything after that once the braces are off? I don't know about skits. Like, uh, like honestly, like if I upload as rarely as John Tron, I'm fine with that. Like, I don't wanna. I, I've I've discussed like I I'm not proud too much of like what I've made. So I, if if I do do anything, I'd want to take time into doing it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think you have a few to be proud of. Like, obviously, the older ones are always going to be, like, you know, they're not going to be masterpieces, I but I think the last, I the last few you made were, like, you know, fairly well made. Mm. It's not as Marriages fun when you don't, don't have a lot of interaction with effect. anyone, uh, you know, mentioning, hey, I like this, or anything. I don't know. Um, each character, though, Richie's, like... Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's it's weird to talk about it too critically because like I, my opinion on all of them is they're corny characters. They're you, all pretty cliche, but I like it. What do you think I of like the like script? It. Like, other than like their their acting, I think the scripts like I think it's a, it brought in enough characters. First of all, like there's large you, groups, even the ones that got my... killed off. Like the big evil group at the end. There's like I yeah, I like I how like it gets all these extra too. people in here that just makes the world yeah. so far pretty full compared to like Mario World well, where you have like little main the, characters here and there I thought the corniness worked a lot better in that last scene and that last scene was my favorite part of it oh I wanted to mention one little thing this should be on a t-shirt by the way that one line uh, give him the balls man that's such a good <laughs> line <laughs> remember that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so good <coughs> but uh it, it's also very yeah, dark, no, it's, this, uh, this uh, show, clearly, like, from that last uh, mm-hmm. scene. Like, the blood dripping down on yeah. the balls. The balls, I love saying that, man. It's a good word. I like how creepy the dude is, the main dude. Very Hannibal Lecter. But, yeah. Did you see Monkey's comment? Mm-hmm. And then Garrett's response to that. 
That was yeah. That was funny. Yikes. That was a good exchange. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, what else was there? There was something else that's gonna point up about it. Yeah. Like, like I said, I think I, I said it already. Like the blooper reel. I think it was the most genuine mm. thing I've seen from them since like forever. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like during you know, like some of the. <laughs> Some of the Let's Cook and some of the updates, they put on a little bit of a mask, you know. No no offense, I'm glad that they're making something they seem to really care about again. From the blooper reel, um, there was, like, I mean, like... From the blooper reel, I noticed, like, there were some things that Richie, like, as a director, like, pointed out, like, hey, we should redo this because of this reason, and, like, he was just very observant, I saw, from that. And yeah. I, I, I only remember the last time I saw him, like, as, uh, dedicated or as, um... Yeah, I mean, fuck, I hate losing my train of thought. But yeah, he just cares about it. Just, shows, yeah. yeah, I mean, it was just it was the right call. Like it was uh, it was time for Richie to do something big and mm -hmm. cinematic again. I think that's that's what he's good at. And I mean, like again, it's always gonna, but that's okay. That's okay. Like, and and you know, if, if, if it's like any constellation for anyone listening to this, anyone like if there is anyone in the cast watching because they have watched our videos before i don't know if they're gonna want to listen to a fucking podcast of us talking about I it i put follow elwood on the did. last time we talked about like the it coming out and i didn't see anyone from the retrieval channel talking about that i'll put in the title again maybe they'll see it i don't know it's just sure i don't know if you type I mean, follow it, elwood in the youtube it's also an, but... it's also an hour-long podcast we're doing yeah. over discord that might not be everyone's cup of tea <laughs> but it's still the uh, I, I, like... I i i would recommend to if you're you know a part of you know, the behind the scenes of it all. Well, what I'm saying. Well, yeah. Let me get to the, let me get to my yeah, point yeah. though. My point was the like, uh, it, like don't don't take corny me calling it corny as like a bad like a horrible thing because I mean I'd say I'd say that about the Marvel movies too and I like those. I'd say that about the Star Wars movies too and I like those. Like, corny isn't necessarily a bad thing as long as you have enough self awareness to what you are and you're not taking yourself way too seriously. And I don't think Elwood's doing that. I think Elwood is a fun little show where they could try out a lot of stuff. Uh, every single one of these characters, I could see them going further with. I like the like Chris's characters, um, kind of like sense and she's clearly seen some shit. And so of the other two, Chris is kind of like the odd, yeah. it's kind of the odd one out there. Chris's kinda performance like kind of distances herself that... from the performance a bit, which is a shame. But, but I think the characters were. I think, I think he was the most. I think he is the most corny, but I don't think he's like much worse than anyone else in the episode. Like I think, I think the guys at the end were the best. I think that mm. they. Uh, the guy with who did the, the raspy voice, like that must have hurt, but he did it well, honestly. Yeah. It's props. like it's like. The, just kind of worked with characters like that. I mean, you know, the Fallout games are kind of corny. With that being said, you know, it's mm, kind of works. I've never it kind of works. One Fallout game, but uh... <clears throat> I played three New Vegas and four, but I didn't play a lot of four because I never owned four. I just played it at a, I played it at my brother's. Uh, what about but the I newer game the that's coming shit. out with like online multiplayer? They said seventy six. Um, I'm, I have Game Share turned on with Gage. I'm not gonna buy it myself, but um. I'll play it like because through game share mm -hmm. and uh you know if i like it then i'll i'll get it myself because gage is gonna turn the game share off like by the end of the year because i don't contribute anything to it since i say on one episode you should like get something at least one game for him just to make it like full circle like something well give him something. yeah i made a joke we may we have a talk about that on our let's play that is not available yet but is available to zachary but he didn't watch it i will someday <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, i sent it to a bunch of people and austin's the only one who responded yet oh wait um, do you know when we started recording oh uh, we started at like a little after eight uh, so you know don't worry about it like i'd say like nine nine ten would be a good time to stop yeah i was gonna say nine ten all right all right okay sorry um, anything else to say about Elwood? I mean, I like it. Like, I, yeah. I, I hope I don't come off as too cynical sometimes. It's, I, I understand it's a web series with a budget, mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of people who are doing it completely out of the fact that they love doing it. So, like, I commend it. I think that they should absolutely make more. I will absolutely watch more. I watched episode one more than once, and I, that's the first time I've done that for a Rich Alvarez video in a while. Uh, and I genuinely enjoyed it. 100%. Make more. Yeah. I hope that uh, 
like I, I hope that they too. do um, put it out, uh, or, or, or like it, they start filming soon at least. Is yeah, that's the main thing. I hope they don't do too much in between because uh, you know that's that's Take what a lot time. of people really complain about the stuff in between. It's never good, especially the recent stuff. So if I, I'm fine with them with them uh, re uploading very uh, rarely and just uh, mm. put out the next episode whenever it's ready. Don't. Uh, I would be down for them doing like little in between stuff. They were doing these movie reviews and video game reviews, and I'd be completely down for stuff like that if they weren't going like, "Hey guys, welcome to Richie Reviews" or something. Like listen, that. Just two, not... two, two con videos get your audience up. That's about all you yeah, can do. Just... That's all. That's all I can allow, really. <laughs> I think Fallout Hands out those could be business like... cards, boys. I think Fallout Elwood could be a big enough hit to at least be Patreon supported by a mm. small fan base. Mm. Um, and I'd encourage that. And I'll give him money. Like, I, I mean, like, I don't, I'm not like saying he needs to be pumping out these cinematic videos every week. Yeah. I just, I just need to see more than one without this big gap because, you know, it's, it's my money I'm paying you for. I'm actually now paying you for a service instead of just getting it for free. How I, I see don't feel it, how I see is like, if I just decided to stop making stuff, I'd be fine with that. But how I see is like, I don't think the gap <coughs> really matters as much as long as they do put it out and it, it looks, it's satisfying, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <coughs> if you put out, if they put out other kinds of videos, you might be thinking, oh, is some of the money that I helped give them, is some of it they're using for these other videos? Like, uh, do they buy stuff for that cooking segment or whatnot, you know? Instead of what I actually yeah. paid for, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. And like, um, yeah, no, and like, <clears throat> you know, bringing up uh, YMS again, I, uh, I I started supporting him on Patreon because he can put stuff out. And again, it's a lot easier mm -hmm. to make a movie review than it is to make this big cinematic video, even though YMS does put tons of effort into his reviews. And the bigger comedic ones normally take a lot of time. Um, but, you know, he's given consistent content that I like. Obviously, with Richie, I don't expect him to produce it out as quicker. But, I mean... You know, Fallout Elwood, I think, is the first big thing we've gotten since Legacy. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole year, and I don't want to, I don't want to support, you know, I just, I need more, I need more one, than one thing a year, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's all, that's all. If, if, he, if he produced, like, an episode, like, every two to three months, I think I'd be good with that. At the same time, no pressure on Richie to rush the script at all if he hasn't completed any parts of it, because yeah. he wants to flush out characters and make scenes, uh, pace pace well you know focus on that and i'm sure richie's listening to this yeah i don't want him to i don't want to rush anything is what i'm saying like what if he's you know what if he hears this i was gonna say i'm sure richie's watching this right now panicking saying i gotta get michael's patreon oh so like i i feel like i do say some of these things i'll just try to elaborate some things i don't know what if i talk myself into so many corners in the back part rich alvarez is it is it doable to like network enough where you can like get like other YouTubers to like kind of sponsor the series, like advertise for it? like, hey, my friends are doing this, maybe give them a cameo. I don't know, or would that be too? I don't know. What are you like, talking about? Say, wait, say that again. If there's any way to like get other people, like YouTubers or something, like sponsor for the show or something in some way. Oh, you mean like Patreon based? Like that could be one of the one like, of the awards. Something to get like, the huge. word out there a bit. I'm thinking, you know, that'd be a, that would be a bad Patreon award. Like, hey, you give us this much. I'm not talking uh, about a Patreon a little... thing. Like, you know, if they network like at events or whatever, and oh, you're out. saying that YouTube just pays them to have a if little. If that's ad. a doable thing or not, I don't know. Not to like even pay well, yeah. or anything, just like I don't Probably. know. I, I, I'm not well, like, I mean, the idea isn't fleshed out on just like throwing spitballing it's not ridiculous like, for them to want money to advertise for you but mm, yeah I don't really know how um, it works that wouldn't be a horrible Patreon idea though I mean like I feel, I feel like there's some fans that would do that have the have the almighty Rich Alvarez from their childhood advertise their series I, I was <coughs> talking about you know, right. for people to advertise for follow Elwood but oh oh you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I misunderstood you completely. I'm, yeah, something. now I do. I misunderstood you completely. You know completely. what I mean? If the, yeah. If the Richard was, you know, those guys, like, network enough with other people, possibly. I don't know. 
Yeah. Because yeah. it's a web series, you yeah, know, like it's a, like something that's like scripted and everything has some has some time being well, put into it. You know, there's there's some bigger Might as well to give YouTubers. it a chance, let other people know, give it a chance, maybe. I don't think we're looking at like the biggest people on YouTube that know of Rich Alvarez, but there's some like pretty. You know what I mean? Like things. little by little, baby steps, stuff like well, that. Let me, let me say what I was gonna say. <laughs> There's, uh, you know, like, uh, Mumpke Jones, obviously. Like, I mean, I know that, but I don't, I don't think um, Richie wants Mumpke to advertise him or anything. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, Mumpke made that video on him. Like, he's a fairly big YouTuber, almost at 300,000 subs now, who knew about Rich Alvarez. And the reason I bring that up is there was a lot of other bigger YouTubers that commented saying, like, oh, yeah, I remember these guys. You know, so maybe there is, like, res maybe there's respect out there. They can get some... They used to, like, do stuff with those, like that like married couple that did the music videos and they were kind of big uh, I, I don't, I didn't I don't like, want to work with them again uh. I don't like their videos but I mean you know it'd be a good it'd be a good I, mean, I don't know the if they're thing is though it's like they have to they have to do it with people that kind of do the same thing but because it's if it, the audience wants music videos parody music videos they're not going to want to watch a series it's like the same thing with twitch people bring usually People bring uh, raid people's uh, channels when they end their stream. That's the thing you could do with Twitch. When you end your stream, you can bring your viewers over to another stream that's currently active. And, like, say it's a mm. game that you were just playing, your viewers most likely want to see that. And it's like, you know that this person's good at the game. They'll want to see that. Mm. It makes sense. So, I don't know. I know there's not yeah. too many people that do web series on YouTube, at least recently. So, I don't know if that's really doable, but maybe someone that... Uh, um. I don't know. Branch yeah. out a bit, see um, what you can possibly do. I'm trying to think of it. someone. Video, there's a channel called Video Game. That they started off as Rich Alvarez fans, and they have a lot of success now, so they could do it. Mm. Video Game Rap Alice, calling you guys out. Uh, do a do a trailer, or else you're immediately scumbags. <laughs> All yeah, right. doing this web series here, give it a chance if you like Fallout. <laughs> if Fallout 76 comes right. out and people are doing skit videos, they could do that easy. Because it's relevant. Yeah, if I, you know what I mean. If I ever made it, if I ever made it big doing one of my stupid projects, I'd promote Richie. Yeah, you know how like Jack's films do, did it once, like mentioning advertising YouTubers at the end of like Your Grammar Sucks or something. I know like, we did it for the third is. pew. Yeah, third pew is a great YouTuber who makes a video every year. Like, and it's not even a video that like, oh, it, you can see why he needed a year to make it. It's just like, no, he decided to make a video this yeah. week. Very casual. He probably started this week. Oh, you know who the third pew is? I don't watch him that often, but like, yeah, he, whenever I watch him, he makes him, really good. Great. He makes really good videos, he but they're just like, it's he has YouTube. like, I guess it's, I guess it's just not, a, you know, it's not his job really. So you know, that's fine. Just whenever I, I guess those whenever older he's skit there. videos of like, I think when he held the camera to his face a lot of time, but like there was just some of the cuts and everything when he played more than one character. I think too, just like. Another yeah. st wasn't there one thing that were like <coughs> little fast cuts like him fighting himself and then all of a sudden you just have like 12 hands punching him in the face or something like I don't know really creative dude one of my favorite fucking things I ever saw was uh, it was the Christian thing and it was the fight between cr the real Christian and Liquid Chris and it was literally just set up where they were standing like they didn't live anywhere near so they were both like punch at the camera and then like the other person on the other end would react to that punch without you ever seeing like a fist hit them or anything and they punch back and it's just I, I mean i don't i don't know i don't know how that came to exist because I, I i maybe they tricked chris into doing it because that was definitely not a collaboration thing they were doing to be funny they did not like each other mm -hmm. So maybe they said like, "All right, let's show off our fighting moves," and they both made a video, and then someone edited it. I have no idea, <laughs> but uh, it's some it's like it's fight music in the background. It. Yeah, and there's like sound <laughs> effects too. <laughs> it's, I love it. Um, all right, so I guess that's everything for Elwood. I like. I feel it. like most of this podcast yeah. is Elwood because we're like getting close to nine ten already. <laughs> <laughs> this whole podcast yeah, I mean, is I had, full I had other stuff we wanted to talk about. I finished season five of the one hundred. I think we should talk about the movies, <laughs> honestly. If we have no, this I have time other left. things we want to talk about. Okay, yeah, fine, so... the 100 quickly, I guess. Yeah, it's not even that much. Have you watched any more of it? No, I will someday. I got bad news, I got bad news Zach, and maybe you'll watch and disagree with me. 
There's, are you okay with me saying some stuff? I won't spoil anything that specifically happens, but okay. I'll give you a little yeah, no spoiler-free spoiler review. Stuff. No spoilers. <laughs> the, uh, I like the first two episodes, and it took me a while to con after that to enjoy it again. But there was a point where I actually started to like it again. And it was the last ten minutes of the final episode. Oh, that took a while. It, uh, so it's a good, so it's a good uh, is it a cliffhanger? Or does it end the show? It would be a very good ending for the show. Well, oh, so it's like a But possible. no, it was, a, it was an out, it would have been a great ending for the show in my opinion. Mm. It would have been a really, really nice ending that doesn't give you a clear answer. There's like a bit of mystery to what's going to happen next. But it was beautiful. I really loved it. And I then so. a text pops up on the screen that reads, end of book one. What's this, Hunger Games? <laughs> So uh, the creator said, if the show is, uh, if the show, if season six is already on the way, and if the show, he says, if the show continues to be popular, <laughs> book two will be just as long as book so, one. So there's another show on the CW that's lasted, I think, over 10 seasons and is still going, like the show Supernatural. Like, are they going to, like, yeah. compete with that now? How many seasons? <laughs> yeah, like, if, they're, oh, if they're just now finishing <laughs> book one, what the heck? <laughs> <coughs> so like most of the season was just pretty boring yeah i mean they just repeated stuff was happening the but you weren't too invested because it just the yeah, tone was like, all the same yeah like i mean everything was the same every like yeah. it like it there's this one part where it seems like they're gonna kill off like a pretty major character mm -hmm. and i was into it because i was like this is a good conclusion for this character at least and then no it's a fake out the person's fun i'm like why like that was one of the only interesting things you were doing this entire season. Now is, you took it away. Is the 100 based off an actual book and all these events happened in these it books? It is based on a book, but the, it does not... I think it, like, follows... All the deaths like, are completely original, right, though? Is that what you mean? Yeah, all the I think all the deaths are completely original, but the books don't even have the same characters. Mm -hmm. only have some of the same characters. And also, like, uh, like, it doesn't go far into it at all. There's, like, four books, and all four of them are tiny. And like you know, this the and the all the events in seasons two, three, four, and five don't happen in those books. So like the books gave them the idea, like the basic setup of one one hundred kids being sent to the ground. And I think that's the only thing they borrowed from the books. I never read them, but I did like look up, up a lot about them, and there really isn't a lot of similarities between the two. Hmm. It went in a very, very, very different direction, and I hear the books suck ass. So. Like no one's no one's saying that. Like everyone's a fan of the TV show, like, even though the books came first. No one's a fan of the books. That's always that's always like what you hear about <laughs> a book that's been adapted. Like just it always comes back to yeah. Well, the book wasn't that great either. Always always something. I think like it was really just movie, like, the Ready concept. Player One. They, same they could do it better. Yeah. Um. I get better. Call Saul. We have to do our podcast on still. Oh, so you don't want to talk about it right now. I mean, I liked it. Do you want to say, like, a basic opinion? I, I think you mentioned this in the last episode. You you thought this is worse than season three. Like, I personally enjoy this season more, personally. Uh, say it again, you cut out. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, I'll just say the word. Um, <clears throat> in the last episode, you said, like, you liked, um, you know, season three more than this season. For me, like, after watching the whole thing, like, I, I personally liked it a bit better than season three, personally, season four. Yeah, well, I think that a big thing a big thing with it is I'm just surprised how much I miss Chuck. Because mm -hmm. um, Jimmy versus Chuck kind of feels like it was the show. Not and now to it's me just personally, like, but like, I can... And now it just feels perfect. like, uh, okay, we're, we're, we're making our way towards Breaking Bad now. And I'm I okay love, with that. I, like I love, season. like, um, we're going to talk about this on your podcast, but I just really love talking about this, like... The idea of, like, how Saul Goodman comes to be. It wasn't just, like, everything that we've gotten so far. It was, like, this one testimony thing that he did. And, like, the uh. what it was, like... It, it, like, reflects Saul's character so well. It was, like, based on lies and, like, um, just being <clears throat> fake and phony and, like, the whole thing. And, like, that's also, like, the definition of Saul. You know what I mean? It just works so well. Yeah. I, um... 
I loved everything about the last episode. It opens up a Jimmy and Chuck scene, and I think the winner takes it all. Yeah. The lyrics were so perfect for those yeah. two. Jimmy literally singing the lines, the winner takes it all, and Chuck singing, the loser takes the fall. And I'm like, I, oh, I totally saw it coming where Chuck was going to like take the mic and sing solo. I, I yeah. saw that coming, but like... It, it, that was an amazing moment. And he actually yeah. had a decent singing voice, especially it's compared great, to Jimmy. Not decent, great, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... But I really liked that. I uh, it, It's just a very, very sad scene to watch because mm. it ends like so fucking badly for them. Uh, and then um, the rest of the episode, I think that the scene where Jimmy stops that one girl and tells her that she didn't make it and gives her this big mm. speech. To me, that sums up the entire like to me, that's the message of the show. Almost that's like the entire point of the show in that one scene. Yeah. Just like J- Jimmy is someone who messed up the world. Um, the world has never forgiven him for it. And it is like, and it's not like, it's not like uh, if like, Oh, if Chuck was never judgmental, he wouldn't have ended up this way, but it was a very, very huge part of why he became who he was. Like it is a, uh, it's a huge part of it. And it's just, uh, yeah. Like uh, <laughs> the world has turned its back on Jimmy few times. And it's also kind of sad at the same time, like on even when he's testimony. trying to be a good guy. Yeah. But like, kind of goes back to like that testimony thing also like he perseveres he 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 tries harder to redeem himself but at the same time he still does the shittiest things to do so you know yeah he goes to the top doing the worst things the testimony is like a nail on the coffin there talking about his brother like just not yeah oh yeah no that was messed up that was seriously fucked up and i knew he didn't care again like it reflects saul so good and like the fact that that was saul goodman's testimony like to bring him to to that's birth literally the, that birth that's to Saul Goodman, really. Like that's I love that's that. Literally scene. the speech that does give birth to Saul Goodman because he changed his name right after that. Like when he revealed to Kim, like I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that's good. What an origin yeah. story, man. So good." Yeah, I um the reason I like that scene so much though is I do think mm-hmm. that's like the story of of uh, Jimmy McGill and Saul Goodman mm-hmm. is whenever Jimmy is trying to be a good person. He constantly, like, shit happens. But then whenever he does, like, horrible things, he's rewarded for it. <laughs> yeah. Because he's good at being a good guy. He's good at being a bad guy. I mean, oh. So I really like the finale. And then Mike's stuff was good, too. I mean, I, you know what? Like, Warner, I wasn't crazy for what they were doing with him or Warner? that story at all. Because I felt like... The it, German guy? Warner. Yeah. yeah. I didn't I feel like there Warner, was any... I didn't, well, let me say, let me, yeah. let me say it. Um, I... Like I told you last time, I felt like all of this stuff, as cool as some of it is to see, there's no reason to do it because we already kind of know where it's going. Mm. Um, I They somehow made me care about Warner in that last episode. Mm. It was just his scene was so good, and I got vibes from two Breaking Bad scenes watching his final scene with Mike, which was just such a beautifully shot scene. Like the yeah. them walking out into the desert, seeing all the stars up there. It's like a silhouette of Mike, and it's like, oh my god, it's that was so, so good. sad. Like and that was so sad. It was like, so sad when he um, and it gave me no when he like called his wife. At least Mike yeah. gave him the option, but like God, that's so he yeah. had to like. That's the last thing he said to his wife, like all angrily and all yeah. Like, well, it reminded me of two things. Yeah, One, Walter calling Skyler near the end of Breaking Bad and doing that big fake out. You remember that? Uh, it's right after he takes Holly and Hank got killed. And he... Spoilers, I guess, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, <laughs> oh, I should have said at the beginning and, while we're talking about... Whoops. And he... And he... Uh, and we'll be... We're going to have to go a little over time for this one. Yeah, I hope not too much. Bit. Yeah, I'm missing Doctor not. Who right now, a new episode, so I want to finish um, this. The, uh, the, you, you know what scene I'm talking about, though, when Walter calls Skyler and, like, the police are there and he knows the police are there and he tries to make paint Skyler as the victim? I don't remember that scene too much, but I don't um, believe it. Well, that's, that a big, well, that's a big yeah. one. And, uh, a and that's it reminded me of that, but it also reminded me, in, like, the season three finale of Breaking Bad, um, Mike is about to kill Walter before Jesse goes and kills Gale. Mm-hmm. And, uh, which is also kind of cool to see Gail again, but also, and then, like, uh, Mike said, uh, and then, like, Walter's begging to go see Gus, like, let me call Gus, let me speak to Gus, and Mike says, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen, and that's kind of the same thing here, the guy's begging to see Gus, begging to see Gus, and you know, this is kind of the first time where Mike's like, yeah, no, yeah, it's not gonna happen with this guy, like, Mike understands Gus now, he, he kind of did before, but, like, he, he, there's, like, 
that mutual respect between the two exist. And I also just like that last scene where, because in Breaking Bad, it seems like Gus and Mike have so much respect for each other. But in that last scene, Gus is just staring and he yeah, I was, was going to say, like, Mike <laughs> is such a tough guy, but I was going to say, like, if I was in his position, you see Gus in the shadows pretty much, like this monster, like, yeah, you yeah. do what I want you to do. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You know, it's, like, so terrifying. Yeah. And Mike just, like, walked out of there like a boss, but, like, still, like, <clears throat> it's shame like, putting his head down, like, damn. I don't think Mike feels like he has too much else to lose. Like, he, and, either he's going to help his family out or he's not. That's his options and, now. And I called it, like, uh, the last time we talked about this, like, <laughs> Mike, Mike's humanity being lost by the end of the season. Like, I called that, mm. man. I knew it. He was going to do oh, something. Yeah, I mean, I war- like oh, gonna... What's his name again? Warner. 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 And I, I, saw, yeah. I saw that coming. Now, they did a fake out. They had that really obnoxious guy. And you think he's going to be the one that Mike kills, but then by the end of it, like he's even like he's even pouring a beer for Mike, you know, like mm-hmm. you know which character I'm talking about—the one who gets in trouble at the strip yeah. club, the one who's being an idiot. Mm-hmm. But by the end of it, like he's like, okay, like yeah, we're, we're we're fine now. Here's a beer, like Mike. Now you're joining us, Mike. It's like it's good. It's it's a, it was a good fake out because you don't you don't think that Warner's going to be the one who fucks up. I think what you also uh, got out of that. Um, whole, I think what you got out of that whole arc too, the Warner arc, is just like you know, don't take family and home the idea of it for granted because oh, like, yeah. once you're separated enough from it you're you do start to miss in you shows like you poor, get you can get really depressed from that yeah and then poor, poor just because you make Warner, a ton of money from it doesn't mean you should uh stay away from all that for too long no i agree and like poor poor warner didn't take anything mike said seriously he was so casual about everything. He, was, he had hope. He really people. thought that everything was going to be okay. Yeah. Okay. He's just a nice guy. So let's. Uh, I guess we have two movies to discuss. We're going to be talking about Coraline and this Netflix movie, this documentary called Jim and Andy: The Great Beyond. I think it was called. You mind if yeah. we? Uh, you mind if we go to the topic of Coraline first? Because. Oh um, uh, yeah, sure. I think it's going to be quick. Um, so guess what? I have what? absolutely nothing to say about Coraline, like not even one little thing. All, the only thing I'll say is that while I was watching it, um, my sister came in and she saw I was watching the movie and she loves the movie. And uh, she said that, um, you know, I was telling her I wasn't, I wasn't that into the movie just yet. I was like maybe 10, 15 minutes in, maybe half hour in. And uh, I was just telling her I wasn't that into it just yet. And she was like, you know, after you watch this movie, there's some videos on YouTube of like the backstory and all that. You'll you'll be mind blown from it. Um, since she said that I have not watched one video of those, maybe it'll make <laughs> me, maybe it'll make change my mind about. It. However, I did say to her, and I don't know if you agree with this. Like, shouldn't a movie uh, get you in, invested into it and interested in it without having to see any extra content? Like that's oh, what extra content's for. And there, and. Like, I, you I didn't think into, it was a bad um, movie, but I didn't think it was great. Yeah, well, let me respond, no. let me respond yeah. to your question. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like, uh, I agree with that completely. Looking up bonus content and looking up the deeper meaning and stuff is something you should do when you already love it. Not like, okay, this had nothing to offer me. Look up this stuff so someone can make me like it. No, she yeah. Was trying to, she was trying to, like, you know, get Core it. Coraline was very yeah. much the... Re- Coraline was very much the result of me not knowing what to recommend you on Netflix. Hmm. That was pretty much what happened. What? what um, it, um, I I personally really loved the movie. What was your ex- I experience think that, watching it like the first time? Like what scenario? How young were you? What scenario were you in watching it? Like, it was a few. It was, it, it was did you a just few see the movie. Ago. I watched it a few months ago. I was cat sitting for my brother, and I was just bored. And I like I've been watching all these like really depressing movies. Uh, and I was like, well, Coraline is an animated one, and, like, it'll be, a, I mean, it's still going to be kind of creepy, but it'll be a lot more lighthearted because it's a stop-motion kids movie. So we don't like nice. that. You know, a lot of well, visually, it's very cool. nice. I think the story is interesting. I think that it's nothing like, you know, this is not a groundbreaking movie, mm-hmm. but I think it does everything it, like, sets out to do pretty perfectly. I think that it, you know, it has a like likable characters. Except, I mean, like, the the mother's kind of bad, uh, she's kind of an unlikable person, mm-hmm. but uh, you know she's okay by the end of it. But she can't like, be as bad as a sinister monster from another dimension. No. You know what I mean? I felt like, 
I just like you know, I just sat down and had fun watching it. That's yeah. really all there was to it. Like I liked the characters, I liked the designs of everything, I liked the music, I liked it was just to me. It's like, and it's probably one of the worst stop motion movies I've ever seen because I mean, I like I, I either um, Chicken Run is still my least favorite. <laughs> I hated that movie. You're very as a kid. choppy right now, but I can still make out what you're saying. No, oh, that sucks. It's or, okay right now. Talk. Uh, talking, talking. I can understand what you're saying, but I, uh, that's gonna be annoying. Um, I, oh. I uh, movies like. You know, like movies like Mary and Max, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Isle of Dogs, you know, way higher up on the list of stop motion for me. But a core line to me is like a kid's film. I, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, I liked it. And then, um, yeah, I mean, like, that's really all there is to it. I, it, it wasn't a movie I especially wanted to recommend to you because mm. it's just like, oh, well, I was like yeah. thinking, what's on Netflix now? And I have like a good amount of suggestions right now. Now, obviously, we're not doing it until it's like yeah. two episodes from now. Unless, like, if the whole thing with Teddy doesn't work, we'll just do him later this season. Um, we'll try to make him work, yeah. So it's not guaranteed. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, definitely. When I, when I, talk, when I t- asked him about it, like, he's like, as long as it's not anytime soon, I'm like, no, this is going to be, like, you know, a couple of episodes later, don't you worry. So, yeah. See, so we should do the Halloween one. We should do the Halloween one, then do a standalone one, and then do the one with Teddy. I don't know. It's like if there's such a big gap of, like, him, me asking him to be on and then finally asking i don't know i mean it's been too long already i guess but i don't know ah, okay we'll figure it out later yeah, i guess uh, yeah not that uh okay so jim and Andy, the yeah. story of uh two office characters in our own movie now what so without I even seeing the movie it. you wait you you didn't like the no, documentary i'm just well, no i loved it I, okay but without <laughs> I, I was gonna be pissed no like without seeing the movie you were able to understand what it was pretty much about and yeah it, it was a good documentary i thought it was a good documentary. Um, you can always cheat, by the way. I'm not saying that you would ever want to do this, but I always like post uh, my ratings and reviews on IMBD after I watch movies. So, uh, mm. so you could technically cheat and look ahead if you're ever curious. But um, I, uh, I really liked, I really liked it. Yeah, like, um, oh god. Uh, so yeah, it just, <laughs> it's a lot. It's just a very. It's a very fascinating idea. It's a very cool thing to look at because he's like really refusing to break this character. He's pissing a lot of people off. It is a, it is like, I guess what so many people say is like the documentary behind it is significantly more interesting than the movie because the movie wasn't even that well received. Jim Carrey was one of the You've only never seen the movie praised already. about that movie. No, not yet. It's okay. Like honestly, it's it's okay. What I hear is that Jim Carrey is the like the good thing about the movie. Like it's not so much. I think he um, I think he does uh, a more autistic Andy Kaufman impression. But other than that, mm-hmm. I don't know. Because <laughs> Andy it was, Kaufman uh, wasn't that autistic, and he just comes off as way more weird than he really was. It's a weird performance. I um, but... well, the documentary you wouldn't be able to tell that. They showed the weirdest of Andy Kaufman, and that yeah. kind of felt right with what Jim Carrey was doing. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was just very interesting to watch. Jim Carrey had a lot of interesting stuff to say. I like what he said at the end of the documentary, because um, he's giving like this big speech about basically what he thinks life is. Like it's getting really fucking deep there. I uh, love how like I, I, you kind of get this nostalgic feeling throughout the movie because it cuts back and forth from like current Jim Carrey to past Jim Carrey. And you get when yeah. he cuts back to the old stuff, you're like, oh man, remember when he used to be like this? And then when he cuts to the, the recent footage, you know, he's like giving life speeches and it's very uncomfortable when he goes on for way too long than he should. And it's like, think, you know, it, by the end of the documentary, it's really up to the viewer oh, like, like how I you like judge listening. Jim Carrey or not, you know? I liked listening to Jim Carrey in the interviews. Yeah. There's, I know there's a lot of people that really disagree with him. Just, they don't have, they, they think he's way too weird now and or like he's way too depressed for them to. Uh, for them to I like uh, Jim Carrey. I don't, I don't think he was even being depressive like during those interviews. I think he was mm-hmm. just being as honest as possible. I don't think it was a negative message. I think it was go through life and enjoy it, like mm-hmm. that that kind of what'd thing. You, what'd you think um, of that one clip? I think at the very end of it or something like there was that one behind the scenes clip, like um, him talking to uh, Bob or something, and like. Uh, 
it's like oh, I'm actually Jim Carrey I'm not actually method acting anymore it's you know that one <laughs> remember that it's like yeah. it makes you think like or there uh, other times during that with other people was the whole documentary fake or not oh you know like a clickbait <laughs> who knows yeah, it was interesting. No, and it's just cool how much footage they had. They had a lot. Of, they had a lot of stuff to show. Yeah, uh, I, I like how, seeing. I love how it's like all action and all that. Yeah, I love how I. I um, I was gonna say sorry. I'm sorry that interrupting you so much is one was trying to say. Um, <laughs> I forget what I was gonna say. Go back to what you were gonna say. I apologize. No, it's just. I was just saying I liked everyone's reactions on the set. Like it was, it was just kind of fun to watch. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I enjoyed the entire fun. It was a good documentary to watch. I I was entertained by the entire thing, and I have very few critiques. And I don't even know if my critiques are even that fair because it might just be more so like what I, it feels like. These critiques are like a little too personal. They wouldn't have made the film better per se. Mm -hmm. It's like it might have made the film better for me and better for me exclusively. Mm -hmm. um, and I like that the uh, main with the interviews, it's like pretty much like it's only Jim Carrey being in for the movie. And I think that mainly keeping it on Jim Carrey would have been a great, it's like a great call because it's really just kind of like Jim Carrey's voice in this film. You're listening to him, and I like that they keep it mainly on him. Are like I, I, only on him, but I'm saying I would have been okay with him just mainly being on him because I mean it would have been kind of cool to hear like what you know Paul Giamatti and uh, Danny DeVito had to say about it all these years later. Like you're like oh my god, like yeah, it's weird because like Jim Carrey was talking about it on like the show with uh, oh um, why can't I think of his name? He's such a big one. Uh, Sign Jerry Seinfeld. Um, it's just just the show where they go around drive and get coffees I think and I like saw he that was episode, talking. Yeah. Yeah, and he was talking, like, Jim Carrey had more stories about how, like, I think it was Danny DeVito or someone who was on that film who just, like, couldn't really stand to be in the same room as him sometimes because, mm -hmm. like, it just, like, it was too uncomfortable, it was too weird. And I'm like, well, why not let's listen to them talk about that? I would like to hear that. Yeah. And there's also just scenes where I feel like there's missed opportunity with some of the edits. Mm -hmm. Like, there's the scene where it's shown this huge Andy Kaufman performance, and then it like keeps, and then like it's also showing this big like the Jim Carrey recreate in it. And I think that there was an opportunity in the scene to do some really cool edits of it just jumping back and forth, back and forth well, was between it, was Andy it side Kaufman by side and Carrey. No, it was it played the Andy Kaufman scene, and then it cut to the Jim Carrey scene mm -hmm. and played it. Like they they didn't they weren't cutting back and forth. I'm just like like oh you could have you could have yeah. set that up in a way. And it would have been really interesting and it would have been like a really cool edit. And there's a couple scenes like this where I feel like, oh, just splice the footage together. That's like, that's creative. That, that'd be a creative thing. And I don't, again, the movie works. So that's more of a me thing, I think, than an actual mm. issue. I don't think that there's anything like, I don't think the movie's poorly made for not including that. Just that, to me, felt like a missed opportunity. Mm. Uh, my final score of Coraline. Um, I'm not maybe well, just to, just to say quickly still on the topic of Jim and Andy like um I was gonna just say my score of both of them real quick but go ahead yeah. um, and it's a way to be done talking about them well like two things first of all like I, it's amazing how like all this behind the scenes footage was like wasn't shown to anyone for years until a documentary yeah. crew got their hands on it and uh, the other thing I forgot what I was gonna say so you could give your thing I keep forgetting sorry right now there's been a lot of talking over each other this one. I think connection's yeah. part of it. <laughs> no, I um, think it's fine, but it's my bad. Um, um, I mean, uh, I think there, at least on my end, I think there's times where I'm, I don't know. I think there's times where like you're cut out for like a second, and then I don't realize you're talking. Uh, um, it's been weird. Been a weird internet. I'm trying to remember what I was going to say. I think horrible. it was important. Or something. <laughs> well, if you remember what it is after this, so Coraline. What's your final score, Coraline? Your fa I feel new like five favorite. Five would be movie. insulting. Like it wasn't terrible. Uh. Maybe a six. Okay. Yeah. I oh, give, yeah. I was I gonna give... say quickly. No, it wasn't even that important. Okay. Remember, Jim and Andy. I've seen twice, and I would gladly see it many more times. The documentary. Like I love that. Love I think I'd watch it again too. Yeah. It's a fun watch. Really, it's interesting. Yeah. Fun topic. I um I really like uh I really liked it. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll definitely yeah. Coraline I gave I mean maybe I changed my mind on this. I did rate it a nine out of ten and it's been a little while since I've seen it. Mm. Um I really liked it. I had very few problems with it. 
it can't be a 10 out of 10 because it's just like, you know, it's not one of the best movies I've ever seen. Only the masterpieces get the 10s. I don't think I ever see Coraline again willing, willfully. I would. But um, mm-hmm. I liked it. I mean, it's not for everyone. Again, mm-hmm. it's not specifically something I wanted to recommend to you. Now I have so many better recommendations for you, and it's unfortunate uh, we have to wait a little while. And I'm hoping that they don't get taken off of Netflix while I'm waiting. I hate how the uh, imitation game got taken off. Probably like a day or something, or day of that I tried yeah. recommending it to you. That's such a good film, I think. Yeah, so I did check movies coming off of Netflix in October, and none of the ones I want to recommend to you were listed. But uh, I'm still suspicious. I haven't suspicious. added anything to my list either, so I'm worried that it might run out soon. But um, I think one of them is not even on Netflix, so it's like a maybe that you might want to see. I've got like three new movies What's now that list? you could watch, but we'll get we'll get to them when we get to them. And um, yeah, I have like three. Jim and Andy, I give. Jim and Andy, I give an eight out of ten. Yes, I did I, mention in the last yeah, one yeah. with like Amy, I uh, rate documentaries a little bit different. There's Wait, still okay. movies. Okay. Your audio was like. But I do for a bit there. Oh, yeah. well, all I was saying is that um, I, like I, I do rate documentaries differently than films because, I mean, you know, like they're still movies. I don't think that like. I don't think I'm not like saying I think there's any circumstances one gets a pass on some things that the other wouldn't get a pass on but i just kind of they kind of feel like two different art forms to me um and so yeah like uh, i do rate them a little differently but jim and andy was a solid documentary and i really enjoyed it yeah. only real problem is maybe there was some like missed opportunities in there I, I i doubt you heard it but like my phone just like vibrated and i was like thinking like a few seconds it. before like I, you know I, it hasn't happened at all during this podcast <laughs> yeah. i'm surprised i wonder when it's gonna do and like five seconds after i swear like on the clock <laughs> perfect what was it even? that's everything i gotta say yeah same i think it's a good time to end episode 66 will Brower's on next episode yeah possibly teddy and the one after mm-hmm. and uh yeah i'll see you guys then I'll bye start. wait we should uh, just say quickly uh i should have said this earlier honestly um, I'm gonna link up so I want to follow Elwood in the description, cause yeah, give it a chance, honestly. Oh, wait, you get over, much. get over the acting a bit. But other than that, I think if anyone doesn't know what it is, you might like it, might not. You turn your webcam off like a dick. Hey, little cuz. Oh, Tito's back. That's great. Should put TNG of Tito, cause this is Tito time. Even though we're I, ending. I, I told you that he was. I, I told you that he was. Special appearance what? at the end. What? What? I said that someone was gonna make a special appearance at the end. No, you did. Yeah, that's okay. right. I did. Go back and watch. <laughs> okay. I absolutely Jesus. Did. Oh, little cuz. All right, now I'm gonna stab you it. in the neck. All what? right, Michael's dead. Michael's dead. You keep killing him, man. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm Tito. It's not cool. I want. I want. I just know the profile picture of Homer Simpson has three eyes. Yeah, it's a really trippy picture, little cuz. Not your cousin. Not even little. Anyway, I am little. I want to see a movie where Jim Carrey plays me and Michael. Is that is that what you're recommending? A, a, a movie that does not exist? <coughs> yeah, just so we can get the cool documentary. The yeah. Just so we can get the cool documentary out of it, though. Yeah. 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 And then we can just get like I don't know some germ German folk to play you, Zach. It's not right. It's not politically accurate. <laughs> I don't know what that even means. I'm just talking out of my ass right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you kind of are. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, I'll let you go on. This was just gonna be a brief appearance, but I'll be back, Zach. You're gonna clean up before you leave, or? Uh, nah. I'll just leave it here. It's gonna I'm gonna stay. go hide it again. Get some Lysol at least. Kind Don't of. I always slit his throat? Why do I ever find a more creative? I'm gonna I'm gonna find a more creative way to kill him next time. Just shove your fist up his God, ass. I'm, I'm like I'm like sick. I don't or think something. anyone can survive from that. You pull. I'm like something. sick or something. My voice isn't even working right now. Yeah, maybe you should drink water. Maybe you should drink. Gladly.
Let's go drinking, Zachary. Me and you. Let's uh, head up I the pub. I don't drink because it's not uh, as healthy as smoking, so I'm not gonna do so. <coughs> no, I'm dying to. Taking a bong hit right now, or what? What was that? This is this is this is a bad. Tito died. This is a bad ending. We should just Tito end died. it right now. I'm glad. Good. Has he ever died in the canon? Is this the first I time? I, I think know. he's always left. I'm back though. Aren't you happy that I'm back? Yeah. Cool. No webcam though. I mean, it's kind of just. Uh, it could be Tito doing an impression of anymore. Mike, but we don't know. It could be clickbait. Oh, you got me, Luca. <laughs> I was just doing Mike. He's still dead. Yeah. Yeah. Nice original con- oh. I'm gonna go watch Doctor Who.